What's good, YouTube? So I'm going to get straight to it, man. I've been watching Charleston White's videos for a while now. And I must say that I do agree with majority of his commentary. Only thing I don't agree with is his delivery and how intentionally disrespectful he is towards people that have passed and towards the living. Now, I'm all about speaking your mind, but I'm all about being respectful. And I know that his platform is growing due to his commentary. And you know how this society is. The crazier you are, the more drama and controversy you can stir up, you're going to get more attention. And I feel like he's figured that out and he's riding that wave and he is getting attention. But my worry is that something will happen to him because he is drawing this negative attention to him and he's not really drawing positive attention. Even though some of the things he says, there's truth to it, but the way he says it and his commentary on certain things, I feel like somebody is going to snap. You know, just like um, what happened the other day and God bless him and his family, but I think his name was Indian Red Boy. Supposedly something he did to disrespect Nipsey angered some people and he ended up getting killed, right? And then I also heard that he got killed over something else. But regardless, there was some disrespect involved and somebody said enough is enough and they took his life. Sad, very sad. But the same thing can happen to Charleston White and I feel like he's on his high horse and if something does happen to him, everybody going to be like, yo, but it's like he's bringing this attention onto himself. You know, I'm not really sure why he can't just state his opinion without being disrespectful. It's like he's thriving off of being disrespectful and he may even see my video and he may talk about me, but that's completely fine because I'm all about peace and I don't want to live life on the edge by being disrespectful and having to watch my back everywhere I go. I don't want to live like that. I'm going to show peace and love. And if somebody has a problem with me showing peace and love, I have a problem with something I'm saying, that's on them. That's on them. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm going to just be honest, man. Like, I'm going to pray for Charleston White. And if you are all believers in God and you believe in a higher power and believe that we're not in control of what's going on, I want you to pray for him too. Because I would really hate for something to happen to him. You know what I'm saying? He has a wife. You know, he does have people who care about him. And he has family, you know, friends, wife, like I said. And I would hate for something bad to happen to him due to his lack of care towards the things he says. And we all know words are powerful. They're very powerful. And I don't know why he's choosing to go this route. I really don't know. You know. It, just, it, it, it goes to show you the power of social media. Once people start getting attention, it's like they just go crazy. Same thing with Kevin Samuels. He's getting attention. So now his videos are becoming more and more extreme when he talks to these women and these men. And more people are tuning in. But just because you're getting more attention doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. You can get all the attention in the world and it can be negative attention. You can get all the attention in the world and it can be positive attention. You know, that's just how it works. But we all know negative attention, controversy, drama is going to get more attention than positive things. And it takes a certain type of person to continue to put out positive things and just continue to do that and not care about the views. But we don't live in a world like that. Most people thrive off of attention. 
you know, it's human nature. But once you <laughs> are elevating and you're living in your higher self, you'll understand that many of these things we think matter don't even matter. Popularity don't matter. Material things really don't matter. We make them matter, but in all reality, they really don't matter, you know? And, you know, my goal in life, I just want to spread love, positivity, knowledge. I want us to all just unite, but that's in the perfect world. And I know that probably will never happen, but I just want Charleston White, man, to chill out, man. Life is good. Life is beautiful. There's no need to bring this negative attention on to you because something bad could happen. And I know he said, I don't care. Y'all going to do this to me. Did it. Man, come on, man. I, Charleston, man, I would hate for something to happen to you, brother. I would hate for something to happen to you. And, and, and he's so smart. He's so intelligent. The way he thinks is great. And I feel like he could really use those things for good, which he is using those things for good. But at the same time, the, he's using the way he thinks for bad, the way he talks about people and disrespects people. <sighs> Man, yo, life is crazy. But I just wanted to speak on that. And, and uh, another thing, what made me really make this video is what he said a few hours ago, like 12 hours ago, he made a video basically making fun of how Nipsey Hussle died. And I was like, why is he taking it to this level? I just want to ask him why. R.I.P. Nipsey. Why are you being, why do you keep like talking about this man? He's dead. His family's still out here grieving and you're talking about how he got kicked in the head and shot and, and you just keep going and keep going and keep going. I'm going to pray for you, dog. But it's your boy, Ron. I'm out.